Egbe Orun Comrades of Heaven by Ifayemisi Elebuibo The purpose of this book is to share with one and all the unique power and influence of the spirit of Egbe Orun. The information contains therein a gathered from personal experience and report from family and priestess of Egbe. The information may help reader understand what Egbe is, at the same time gain a deeper understanding on proper interpersonal relationship as it relates to the teaching about Egbe Orun. You are encouraged to try to fully understand what I present in this book. Reprocess your personal experiences and those of people around you and then just oppose what I shared. In addition to having personal experience and witnessing credible moments of Egbe power and possession, I use the account of people around me to gain deeper understanding into the world of Egbe spirit. With the assistance of all these and supporting the first stories account on Egbe Oru, the only conclusion outside the scientific and psychological world is that Egbe spirit do exist. Egbe Aye, Egbe Oru, spiritual comrades. The world is made up of two separate and yet coexisting planes, the heart world and the spiritual world. The natural world includes everything we see around us. The spiritual world consists of the unseen realities that we do not fully encounter until we are one with the spirits, in trance or maybe after death. As human, we can operate between the real world and the world of spirit. Whenever two or more people are together, they exchange magnetic vibration with each other. The stronger magnetism, be it positive or negative, usually prevails. So, the larger the group, the stronger its power. More so, the activities and responsibilities of these groups depend on collective effort and powers. Susan Wenger, in her book, A Life with Olorisha in their homeland, 1983, makes it known that Egbe is a religious entity which represents God's own emotional spectrum as it is reflected through the multipl multiplicity and complexity of everyone's world or feelings. According to Dr. Ifabu Komi Adewale, he described Egbe as the positive forces that enables our connectivity with other elements of life. These said forces are established during and after our completion of seven major activities. He further explained that Egbe is our spiritual double, soulmate, astral friend, cosmic companion, or spiritual nest of king. Egbe is attributed with companionship, spiritual assistance, dreams and lucidity, emotions, instincts, reconnecting one's soul with the divine. Egbe in Yoruba language means society or group. Such society or group are formed like a heartly society to fulfill certain purpose, mission, and objective. Egbe has been described as Enikejion, the partner or mate in heaven. This second person can be a look-alike, a fraternal twin, friend, or mere associate. However, the concept of alter egos and double spirits, the non-biological look-alike of a person, has appeared in stories, myths, religious concepts, and tradition of many cultures throughout human history. In ancient Egyptian mythology, Ka, was a tangible spiritual double, having the same memories and feelings as the person to whom the counterpart belongs. Personally, I feel since the spirit of Egbe cannot be manifested without a human body, I believe Egbe is our second self, our soul representative in heaven, our thoughts, our inner voice, our monologue, the connection we transfer and share with other people, one of our many lenses into the spiritual world. 
Egbe is the mirror through which we see ourselves and others from past life and present life. When we talk about Egbe spirit, we are not looking towards other people. We are looking inward to ourselves. We are projecting our personal experiences and relationship. Egbe is us and we are Egbe. Every individual on heart belongs to a spiritual fellowship in heaven. In the realm of spirit, we have different fractions and denomination with unique abilities. As a person with spiritual mate, we share in their secrets and powers. There is an invisible double of each human being constantly feeding life into the physical body by filtering higher frequency energy influences of the physical world. In our spiritual form, before our heartly journey, we have several awareness of who we are, the destiny we choose, and who we fellowship with. But upon arriving on heart, we got lost in the amnesia of birth, and we are now bound with the ordeal of rediscovering ourselves, retracing our path back to our Egbe Oru, and re-establishing relationship with them through initiation, offering, and ritual. Traditionally, the believing spirit was shared by all the inhabitants of the world at the time when there was no other forms of religious belief system. It has instilled both fear and wonder in people for thousands of years. It is believed that all human beings belong to one Hegbe or another, either physically or spiritually, for it is often said that Enitiko ni Hegbe aye those who do not have a fellowship on earth we not have in heaven. They are, however, skeptics who openly declare their disdain and disbelief in the custom and dismiss the whole concept of Egbe Oron as teen of dark ages, backward and superstitious, but with widespread information and documentary like this, the attitudes of the people in Africa is sure to change, for we live in a parallel universe in which everything in this world is replicated in another dimension. Being a lelegbe is not unnatural, not evil or perverse, just all things in balance and everything in divine order. Egbe Orun, Comrades of Heaven by Ifayemisi Elebuibon.